<laughs> so this dropped out of nowhere. Yeah, Just it was crazy. Out of nowhere. I saw it and I, I was between doing bits and pieces and I was, I was about to study actually for my master's degree. And I was like, I can't. I've got to talk about this. This made my day. Because this, this confirms is... so much of the shit that I was reporting. I, I, this morning Isn't on the it? morning show, I'm like, what is this? Where did this come from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the big news out. to me is the the whole reason why she was still there. I thought it was just because they were like, man. fuck it, we're not going to spend the money. Yeah. Yeah. So this is an article from Variety. And they're, they're listing down a lot of, a, a lot of stuff um, that was made available by debt fans paying court fees to release documents, uh, which is all from Herd's therapist. But then there's also stuff from Warner Brothers that is revealed in this as well. And it is a shit show. Yeah. And it's amazing. It's amazing that this is put, put into an article. And it goes to show the, the turning tide, I guess. Um, but Amber Heard, my God, what an absolute raging douche canoe. So <laughs> apparently Jason Momoa was like drunk on set and, and, and Amber Heard was complaining that he was dressing like Johnny Depp. Bitch. He dresses bohemian and all like, I don't know, grungy, whatever you want to call it. Anyway. Yeah, but I can see her being so narcissistic that she would think that he was mocking her. Yeah. And then, so... The biggest bombshell here for me is Elon Musk writing to Warner Brothers from his lawyer, threatening them. That's why Amber Heard is still an Aquaman too, because Elon Musk was a simp. And I think the important thing, which someone put in my comments, I do wonder, we, we don't know the timing. I'm just going to throw it out there. I'll pop my little tinfoil hat on, all right? I wonder... Whether this all happened around the same time he appeared with a black eye. Actually, we kind of have a little bit of a time frame. Because this Wait, is letter it around came the same in. Time? Well, this letter came in because th this is what we learned in the article. I don't know if you read it all the way through yet. We learned that yeah, his yeah. his his letter actually kept her in the movie to begin with. Mm. Um. So yeah, actually, I was kind of more or less right because I'm looking at it now. Like the timeline goes. James Wan wanted her out of the movie because we learned this in the court case too because that was uh, confirmed there. Uh, James Wan didn't want to bring her back, period. So they reiterate yeah. the whole thing we heard then, which was they had zero chemistry and all that kind of business. But I guess yeah. Elon's lawyer th shot off a letter stating that they were going to sue or whatever. or uh, What is it? An earth scorching letter they described it as? Uh, that if yeah, they didn't bring, so... uh, bring her back for the sequel that uh, they were going to go after him. But, uh, yeah, so. Well, what I mean by timeline is there, there was that picture circulating with Elon yeah, Musk with yeah. a black eye. And I don't know whether it's, I mean, obviously we don't know whether it's around the same time, but I, I'm putting it out there that maybe, maybe. Mm. There's this is, this is definitely involved. when they were together for sure. But, yeah. Oh, yeah. So let, let's let's give, give a rundown of this so we can all have a good laugh. And guys, please do just jump in at any points you want to you wanna discuss on this. Uh, so on the same day in mid-September that Warner Brothers dropped the trailer for $215 million. They th almost double that, I'd say. Definitely going to be more than that. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Embarrassing documents from the Johnny Depp Amber Heard defamation trial surfaced on Reddit, creating a new he a headache for the studio behind the film. Depp fans paid the court fees for releasing the documents from her <laughs> therapist, Dr. Dawn Hughes. The raw notes scribbled on a legal pad were part of last year's high-profile trial in which Depp largely largely prevailed. He did. They describe a hostile Aquaman set where an allegedly intoxicated Jason Momoa dressed like Johnny Depp and pushed to have her booted from the role of aquatic superhero Mirror. So apparently, Jason Momoa wanted Amber Heard gone. Yeah. Uh, Jason said he wanted me fired, the notes say. Jason drunk. Late on set, dressing like Johnny <laughs> has all the rings too. <laughs> uh, so anyone in a leather jacket and rings, looking a little uh, bit grungy, like a dude, bro. That's okay. Cool. Yeah, she has. She's she's got a really big image of herself. Here's the thing that's funny about she? this. Okay, and as you get into this, and this is my perception of this, she says it was a hostile environment. 
everybody was hostile yeah. towards her is what really this is about. The rest of the, everybody else probably was fine with each other. They were just mad because she was there. And you really find out why here in a minute. So keep going. Yeah, so a rep for Momoa declined to comment, but a DC spokesperson pushed back on her characterization, saying Jason Momoa conducted himself in a professional manner at all times on the set of Aquaman. Others uh, echo that sentiment. Jason works his ass off, likes to have a beer once in a while like everyone, but doesn't show up on uh, show up drunk on set, says an insider who was on the London set in 2021, adding that the two stars got along and were seen joking together. And he isn't dressing like Johnny Depp. He's always dressed in that bohemian style. Yeah, obviously he has. Uh, Heard declined to comment, but a source close to the actress confirmed that the notes refer to the Aquaman 2 set and reflect a session from December 27th, 2021. Another source close to the actress says her lawyers fought the release of the therapy notes, which had been subpoenaed by Depp's attorney during discovery. Momoa wasn't the only Aquaman principal to land in the crosshairs. The therapy session also painted a picture of her feeling unsupported by the film's director, James Wan, and treated like a pariah. Yeah, treated like a pariah because of a high-profile legal battle with Johnny Depp. He raised his voice at me. (laughs) I can't even post about Aquaman. Made it like it was my fault. I said, I'm sorry. says Hughes's notes in reference to one. Nobody could take selfies with me on set given blackout. Narcissist. Uh-huh. Well, and this I believe. I believe this wholeheartedly, and this is where I think the, um, where she was f- sensing a lot of uh, hostile uh, reactions from people because this is all going on in the midst of her bullshit in the press. And James Wan not being able to talk about this movie on social media is a big problem. And he was yeah, right, because he probably po- if he posted anything about Aquaman, he would probably get bombarded with both sides of the equation. Yeah. Not to mention, you know, it's already bad enough he probably has to deal with Snyder fans. <laughs> oh, my God. Yep. Wan declined to comment. The DC space <laughs> person says, James is known for treating members of his cast and crew with the utmost respect and fostering a positive, collaborative environment on set. The Aquaman films were no exception. But there's more to that because that goes into the Elon thing here in just a moment. And that was that they weren't going to bring her back in the first place. Yeah. Well, this is, the, yeah, exactly. So Heard was nearly fired. Sources on both sides tell Variety. Following Aquaman's release in 2018, straight away. The studio and Juan decided to drop the actress from the sequel due to her lack of chemistry with, with Momoa and sent a letter to her attorney, Carl Austin, informing him of its decision. Former DC boss Walter Hamada testified in the defamation trial about the issue of chemistry. Uh, those sources those sources underscore that the move to bounce Heard was unrelated to Deb and took place before he filed suit against the actress in 2019. Likewise, Momoa was not involved in the decision-making, but another source pushed back on the lack of chemistry narrative, noting that Heard did, did a chemistry test with Momoa before landing the role of Mira and beat out two other actresses who did a similar chemistry test, including Abby Lee. Uh, Ultimately, the studio never pulled the trigger on firing Heard because her boyfriend, or former boyfriend, Elon Musk, had one of his litigators send a scorched earth letter to Warner Brothers threatening to burn the house down if the actress wasn't brought back for a sequel, says a source familiar with the behind the scenes battle. Warner Brothers That's a good way to get on everybody's good side. Yeah. Yeah, well, exactly. Yeah. Like, they want to fire her. Her her boyfriend forces them to keep her, and everyone's like, "Fuck!" And we got this bitch around. Jeez. So they so they f- agree to keep her, and then in the process of all this, then happens the drama with Johnny Depp. Yeah, and they're like, "Well, cheers." <laughs> well, they're like, "Great, we're stuck with your ass now," and that's why she was being treated that way. I can totally see it. It makes complete fucking sense. It's like, first of all, we were forced to have you here. It's like the little sister, right, who wants to play with her older mm. brother and his friends. And you say, no, we're, we're doing our own thing. And she goes to mom and squeals and mom forces you to have to play. And yet when she's there, she does nothing but fuck up the whole game. Like if you're playing football or something, you know what I mean? Like that's what Amber yeah. Heard is right now in this equation. Only it's worse because she's fucking with people's money and their well-being in this entire production. Yeah. Oh, it's so funny. 
So that's about it, really. There's not much else to go into. I mean, they comment how it's going to be a bomb, basically, and it's trouble. Well, they do like uh, add in there a lot of stuff that I've been reporting, and that is that none of the stars are coming back. Um, mm. That's in the next couple paragraphs down. Uh, Henry Cavill, Gal Gadot, Ezra Miller, and Momoa, but Momoa will probably come back as uh, Lobo. So this is a more official thing. See, this is the thing that I love about this, because this is in Variety. Now, this isn't necessarily a confirmation but this makes a lot of the stuff that i was reporting you know the, me other people are hearing the same stuff right and mm -hmm. it, it's it's more of a confirmation that or it's more supported evidence let's say they not not a confirmation but yeah well tom yeah. i think you you had a lot of insight into this uh early on i think between you and uh and tug i was like man i can't believe where they're getting all their well stuff. tug had a lot of stuff from people who knew about the uh amber heard situation yeah know? but he was also getting mm -hmm. stuff right on the movie side of things just like you and here we are to find out this is the worst movie they've ever tested well and i'm curious what happened when she heard or they heard they were looking at bringing in what's her face from game of thrones um well that's probably when it oh shit hit the fan yeah that's what i'm trying to think of her name uh but you know who i'm talking about Amelia I mean, yeah, because they even asked her about it, and she said she had declined it. See, that almost confirms mm -hmm. that they had been looking and talking, right? And that's oh, what I had confirm, heard. Yeah, because that's what I had been hearing was that they were going to cut her out of the movie, and they were going to reshoot all her stuff because she was hardly in the movie anyway. Yeah. And then that would be their way of introducing a new car a new version of it. But that was when um, it was still between Hamada and you know the regime change. And then when they decided, the gun decided he was coming back, I think that was the point they just decided, fuck it, we're not going to spend any extra money mm. on this or the Flash, for that matter, because that was the other thing they were worried about was Ezra Miller's bullshit on the Flash, but yeah. Yeah. And they do say, like, uh, her role's been drastically cut down. I can't remember where it was in this. Well, what's the um, other thing they do confirm from, from my reporting is that there it is right there. It's still Aquaman sequel held promise considering that the character's first outing earned a, a 1.5 billion worldwide, becoming the highest grossing DC movie ever with inflation. Mm -hmm. Without inflation, I should say it's not. Uh, but sources say that this, or yeah, sources say the sequel has endured challenges outside the herd saga and was testing in the sixties before the recut of summer of 22. Now, culture, you've heard me say this more than anybody. What was it whenever I'd ask about what's going on with Amber Heard and Aquaman? What would they tell me? Um, they told you she's still in the film. But what else did they tell me? She's not the problem. Oh, yeah. it was Elon. <laughs> no, the movie was the problem. Oh, no. But you, 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 also would, you also would say that Elon was a problem on the movie. You well, I, don't, I, I do remember. I kind of vaguely remember saying somebody saying something about Elon, but I didn't yeah. know about that for sure until this, and I didn't realize that's what he had done. But that's yeah. what I was Great saying is they were, yeah, they were saying it tested poorly. In fact, that almost confirms what I had been hearing, and that was that it tested wor the, the worst of any test they'd ever done in the history and, and of DC and maybe even Warner brothers for that matter. And it's been in the sixties is horrible and it's been confirmed. That's the other thing. It's been confirmed. And then the reshoots and, didn't help. <laughs> and there was all those articles coming out saying, I oh, know we weren't reshooting it. No, 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 no. And this confirms it. Reshoots took place right up until May. Yep. We knew this. We reported on it. I we were talking, talking about, about this. And they're, they're all saying we're not doing reshoots. I'm like, what? <sighs> This is because they knew they had a leaky faucet. And that's where, like, like at this point, like, a good 80% of the stuff that I had been reporting over the past year and a half, two years, has been true. Yeah. The only thing that so I, far I mean, that has kind of been weird about this whole thing is James Gunn not doing a complete and utter reboot from bottom up. Him keeping the Peacemaker, Suicide Squad cast really muddies the waters. But other than that, we can see it already from a mile away. This is going to be a speaking of scorched earth this is going to be a, was supposed to be a scorched earth reboot from the start so we'll have to see yeah. what's going to happen here because that's what i keep hearing now is that nobody knows nothing but james and a lot of even the upper people are really confused at what mm. he's doing here but this article also gets into some of the stuff that we've been hearing and that is and that's a culture might remember this too and i don't remember if i brought it up on here but where i really believed a lot of this was them getting the company ready to be sold they want to sell yeah. Warner Brothers within the next yeah. two years and in the, in the article, they kind of state the same things I was saying in the hearing, and that was that it doesn't matter if these movies happen or not. They just want them in the pipeline or things in order so that th then when they mm -hmm. sell, that it's worth the most, right? 
Yeah. So yeah, that's kind of what it is. It's just like with uh, the George Lucas situation when, um, because the money people at Disney came back and said uh, Lucasfilm is worth roughly like two point five billion dollars or whatever, and George huffed at that and said, "No, I want the Pixar deal." And uh, mm. they went back and fudged the numbers a little bit so he could get the Pixar deal. But Bob, and this is in Bob's book, Bob came back to him and said, you have to get a, a couple movies into production or at least pre-production or whatever and some of this stuff done so that we can up the value of the company. And that's exactly what George did. He wrote his treatments for the sequels. He signed on everybody, set up Kathleen Kennedy as the president. And all those moves in the eyes of the shareholders or whatever at Disney the, the people that had to make that decision made it look like that then that Lucasfilm was worth $4.05 billion instead of two and a half at the end of the day, mm. because at that point Lucasfilm had nothing. And I mean, nothing in production outside of the cartoon. Uh, and that had just been canceled. Like whatever it was like a couple of years before that. So they really had absolutely nothing into production outside of the gaming industry side of things. And that was limping along. And I think they canceled all that as soon as Disney bought it anyway. Right. Culture. Like the Lucasfilm gaming got shut down. I think it was. They shut down yeah, a lot. Down. Lucas Arts. They shut down. They are. They shut down a, like a music inter- interest that they had. They had all these other things going on. And yeah. yeah. Right. Well. But yeah, anyway, same thing here. They want to make everything look like it's worth more, so then whoever buys it thinks they're buying, you know, a decent car. Yeah. And they're not. They're buying. They're buying a. I was going to say Dotson, but I like... I like. Well, they think they're getting all the bells and whistles, but oh, God, the bells don't all work. That's the problem. Uh, the, 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 the electrical is a bit damp. It doesn't work so well.